Hello, my gorgeous Pisces. This is Debs, and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday, the 5th of May, 2023. Hope you're well, Pisces. It is lovely to be with you. Let's jump straight in. That's the guidance from the divine. Here we go, guys. The deck that I'm using is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. If you guys want a private reading or you want to join the channel, I post weekly readings for all of my members ad free. Um, if you're interested in that, you can just click join on my channel or my website is in the description box where all of my reading options are there. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's start this, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you guys for this particular week. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF weekly reading for my Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Friday the 5th of May 2023. Friday the 5th of May 2023. Thank you, Michael. I'm actually hearing someone say, now I understand. Now I get it. He wants those. Okay. Yeah, Pisces, somebody may be explaining something to you and everything may then fall into place. Yeah, now I understand. Okay, I get it. I'm getting a rather neutral reaction from you though, Pisces. Yeah, it's as if you've already left the situation behind, but now at least you have clarity. Let's just find out what's going on. Anything else, Michael? Thank you. He's saying three shuffles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right, Pisces, let's see what your story is for this week. Back in a minute. So Pisces, an interesting reading for this week. We start off with the energy of the Hermit. Now, somebody, Pisces, has been feeling very isolated, generally, in their life. It could relate to a Virgo, okay? Whoever this person is has been fishing for information. I believe this is someone, Pisces, that you met a while ago. This person isolated themselves from you because they were actually trying to make a decision about somebody else. What they're going to be saying, Pisces, when they reach out is the energy of the fool. I was a fool. I took a leap of faith and a risk with someone. I think this is somebody who took a risk with a feminine coming through as the queen of pentacles. So possibly this person took a leap of faith and a risk with a queen of pentacles. But because this person felt isolated from the Queen of Pentacles, very confused, what's going on? Are we developing a relationship or not? This person coming through as the King of Swords sent a very blunt message to this Queen of Pentacles. What is going on? Says this person sat in the energy of the Hermit. The response was pretty straightforward. With the Page of Swords, there was a difficult message of truth that came from this Queen of Pentacles. She relayed the fact that actually she was in a relationship, a serious connection with a King of Pentacles, possibly married. Since that time, Pisces, this person has been thinking about you. They've been trying to make a decision between you and this Queen of Pentacles. Now they've realised, Pisces, that this Queen of Pentacles has her own partner. This person, sat in the energy of the Hermit, is wanting to reach out to you. Maybe to choose you. This person may want to see you. Or there could be simply communication coming in from this person to say they're sorry they kept you waiting. They're sorry that you were sat in confusion. They were waiting for a Queen of Pentacles to move forward with them. Then they found out that this Queen of Pentacles was in a long-term commitment. So they are choosing you, Pisces. Your decision is, do I accept this person back into my life? And what exactly will they be offering me? Pisces, this is your story for this week. Here we go, guys. We're dipping into the sacred forest, Denise Lynn. So Archangel Michael, do we have any more information for my Pisces, please, for this weekly reading? Thank you, Michael. Okay. Okay.
yeah all right guys let's see what we have here pisces for you for this week so pisces we start off with dragon power with the number two down here this person was waiting to move forward with their queen of pentacles potentially an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn but this feminine energy with wild rose fairy love pushed your person away for the very simple reason that they wanted to stay stable in a long-term relationship with prosperity. So your person has broken free of that Queen of Pentacles and they are now reconsidering moving back towards you, Pisces. With the energy of Crystal Cave, trust. You may have felt very burdened with a nine Pisces, wondering what was going on with this person. Now you know the truth is going to come out. And with the energy of Willow Spirit, flexibility. They are hoping that you're going to be flexible enough to give them a second chance. Okay? The thing is, Pisces, are you willing to do it when they chose somebody else to begin with? We will see. Let's move into Tarot. Here we go, people. I'm using the Arcanum deck. So Archangel Michael, may we have information about this situation? Thank you. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. So what we see here is actually a woman hanging on to money. I feel that this masculine potentially didn't know that with the Four of Pentacles, this woman was in a commitment with somebody else. She ended up telling him the truth. And it was difficult for him to accept. That is why Pisces, he didn't take action on you because he was waiting to move forward with this Queen of Pentacles. But the truth has now come out. She's staying in a long-term commitment and he wants to revisit the connection with you. The sun. Mm. So these two may have been dating at a distance. He didn't know that this woman was in a relationship with someone else. He's now breaking free and he's moving towards you, wanting his happiness. He could be a Leo. Yeah, with a Queen of Swords Pisces, this poor guy had to accept a difficult message of truth. I think the Queen of Pentacles stepped into the energy of the Queen of Swords and had to deliver a rather unemotional truth which was the fact that she was in a connection with someone else she had no intention of leaving so he's now wanting to potentially pursue you yeah energy of judgment sagittarian energy so she could have been a sagittarius this could be a sag man wanting to pursue you you could have sag in your chart but i feel with the judgment card pisces this is all divinely guided to work out this way but I feel with the Judgment Card Pisces, the Divine had a hand in this. Yeah. Three of Cups. Now, it could be this Queen of Pentacles is facing Judgment Day for having an affair with this masculine, not telling him the truth. It could be Pisces with the Three of Cups. You have to make a decision as to what you want to do. Do you want to reconcile? Hmm. And we have the Hangman, which is your Pisces card. You're not sure. You're not sure. I think, Pisces, you have been in a place of sacrifice, self-sacrifice. In the nicest sense, feeling a bit stuck, wanting to move things forward with this masculine, whilst he was waiting to move forward with the Queen of Pentacles. You don't know what to do now. The High Priestess. Yeah, this is you, Pisces. I love the images of these cards. You're trying to use your intuition. Is this a good idea? Is this masculine potentially still in love with the Queen of Pentacles? Two of Swords. Pisces, you may have been blocking your heart for the longest time. You may even have blocked this person because you were very confused why there was no communication after maybe a few dates. This is you not knowing what to do. What was the past situation? Eight of Cups, yeah. So Pisces, this person walked away from you and you were very confused as to why they didn't want to pursue the connection. The strength card, Leo energy. You had to use all your strength and confidence to hold back from this person. 
because I think you realised that there was something going on underneath the surface that you didn't know anything about. Queen of Wands. You may have felt there was another woman in the mix, Pisces, and you didn't want to be the other option. So I think you took charge and you moved forward. You may have been working on your stability, working on creative projects. Yeah. The world. You saw this as being over. It's almost as if you felt you had no choice but to let it go. Or this is a connection with somebody that lives at a distance. And maybe also because of that, you wondered, would it have worked out anyway? Hmm. Five of Cups. Hmm. I think this person feels really stressed out because Pisces, now they're realising they chose the wrong woman. They should have chosen you. I'm connecting with a single Pisces who's a high priestess. This person chose a queen of pentacles. Unbeknown to them, this woman was not single. They're now full of regret because they feel as if they'd missed an opportunity with you. Oh, Pisces. Nine of swords. I think this person doesn't know what to do. Because not only do they have to move towards you to tell you the truth, the reason why they didn't move forward with you is that they were actually, as far as they were concerned, in a long distance connection with the Queen of Pentacles. Now they found out this Queen of Pentacles has a partner, King and Queen of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to come back into your life. They should have chosen you to begin with. What's this person's energy? Yeah, Nine of Cups. I think this person is fantasizing about being with you. They may want to communicate to say to you they were sat in a lot of confusion. What was the confusion about? The chariot. Okay, now this woman may be a Cancerian or this person was confused as to whether or not they should move back towards you and express the whole truth that they have been duped, but they also realize that you have been sat in a lot of confusion and disappointment. I think you've got communication coming in from somebody who's been thinking about you from a distance. Yeah. Knight of Swords. Okay, Pisces, this person's coming in. They're going to express the truth. There's going to be total clarity. What is the truth, Michael? Yeah. But with the Three of Swords, they were heartbroken because they actually fell for a Queen of Pentacles, but they had no idea that she wasn't single. Seven of Cups. Yeah. So this is someone who, with the Seven of Cups, is wondering what you're going to say. Are you going to let them back in? Who was this person? The Magician. This is someone, possibly a Virgo, Scorpio or Gemini, who was wanting to manifest you back into their life. This is someone who wants you to put the past behind you and they want to put effort into renewing this connection with you. Now they're leaving the Queen of Pentacles to be with her King of Pentacles. The Fool. This is somebody who feels foolish or they're trying to manifest a brand new start with you. They may have felt manipulated by an Aries, an Aries woman. Okay, Ace of Cups. So Pisces, this is someone who wants to manifest a brand new relationship with you. What do you think, Pisces? Are you going to let this person back in? Nine of Wands. Now they may feel as if... They've messed up. They may feel as if they chose the wrong person. But if you look at the one this guy is carrying, at the bottom there, you'll see green shoots. He's hoping, even though he's stressed, he chose the wrong woman, that you would agree to have a passionate new start with him. Knight of Cups. Pisces, this guy is coming in. He's going to express he did have feelings for you, but he was torn. I've got to be honest, Pisces, he was torn because he was waiting to move forward with the Queen of Pentacles. I really feel, Pisces, he didn't know who to choose. After the Queen of Pentacles expressed the truth to him about the fact that she was actually with the King of Pentacles and she wasn't going to be leaving that man, I think he's now decided to move towards you. Yeah. 
Yes. And he's moving towards you, Pisces, with a stable offer to commit. I think this guy was just ready to commit to someone. He had feelings for you, but he was torn because he was going out with his Queen of Pentacles at a distance. Now he's realised she's not single. He's moving towards you. Yeah, wow, guys, Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. He's serious, Pisces. But do you feel slighted because he chose the other woman? Do you feel he's got his karma? I don't know. Three of Wands? Pisces, you may have been waiting for this person for a while to come back to you. Or this person was sitting at a distance trying to make a decision between you and the Queen of Pentacles. He may admit that he may say look i'm sorry i was sitting on the fence i didn't know who to choose i want to be with you now yes now four of cups pisces you're looking at relationships that didn't work out you're not looking at this relationship coming in the potential of this because you're sitting pisces in a little bit of sadness maybe you feel that this masculine got what he deserved well, he left you, he didn't choose you to begin with, and he didn't tell you he was dating a Queen of Pentacles. You're not sure what to do. What is this masculine saying to Pisces? The Hermit. Strong Virgo energy. What he's going to say, Pisces, is he's been feeling isolated, he's been feeling on his own, he's also suffering a little bit of heartbreak. But if you look at the center here where his heart chakra is, there's an explosion of light. I think this masculine has become aware that you are the person he should have chosen all along. I think if this person was also sad in any sort of ego, that's now being dissolved. He's wanting to come through in a very humble energy. The star. He wants to heal the connection with you, Pisces. He could be an Aquarius or he sees you as a star. He believes that you two would work well together. Yeah, he sees you as someone he could grow a beautiful life with. The lovers. But Pisces, what you're thinking about is he wasn't honest to begin with. He was dating another woman. Gemini energy. He chose somebody else over you and now he's found out she's not available. He's coming back. I'm not sure how you're going to feel about this. What is he saying to Pisces? Page of Pentacles. He is coming in with a gift, maybe an apology. He does want this to work, Pisces. With the Page of Pentacles, I don't know. I mean, this could be an offer to just date. What does this person really want from Pisces, Michael? Wow. Okay, Pisces. This person wants to move into the Four of Wands with you. This person is serious, but I think they know that they screwed up. They chose the wrong woman. Six of Pentacles. They're ready for equal give and take. They want to put effort into this. They see you as a future life partner. How is this going to work out for my Pisces? The Tower. Pisces, you're going to be a little bit shocked. I mean, I don't know if you had an inkling what this guy was having to cope with. Um, no matter what you think about how they behaved in the past, they have gone through a lot of heartbreak. You may not have expected ever to hear from this person again. Yes. What I want to say is, with the Tower and the Six of Wands, if this person was sat in any ego, okay... Thinking, oh, this is fantastic. I'm just going to leave Pisces behind because I'm dating another woman. Yeah, this person has been brought down to earth with a bump. Their ego has been destroyed. Tower, six of wands. What was the tower, six of wands all about? Yeah, look at that. The fact that this guy figured out or was told that this woman was in a legal contract. But I feel the scales of karma have been balanced, Pisces. Yes. Yes. 
Seven of Swords. He lied to you, but he was lied to by the Queen of Pentacles. So karma's being delivered to both the Queen of Pentacles, I believe, and this masculine. The devil. He sat in the energy of the devil. She sat in the energy of the devil. You're the innocent party in all this, Pisces. He could be a Capricorn. You're not sure what to do. Can you trust this person? What is Pisces going to say? What is Pisces going to say, Michael? Ten of Pentacles. You may ask this masculine if his Queen of Pentacles is definitely staying in her long-term partnership. Or whether or not she's going to end it with a death card. Pisces, if there's any indication that this masculine is simply looking for a safe place to land, okay? He's wanting to move forward with a woman who seems capable, stable, single, which is you. You may say to this masculine, I'm not interested in somebody who's looking to sit in the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, if that is what you're wanting... You're simply wanting a firm place to land for your own security. That's not me. What is this masculine saying to Pisces? Temperance. Sagittarian energy. It may well be, Pisces, that you say to this person you can keep in touch. But you're not doing anything rash. You're in a very balanced place with the energy of temperance. I think, Pisces, you're simply going to keep in touch with this person and see how things go. You're not going to be talking about the four of wands. That's moving in together. No, I don't think you want to do that. What is this person's response if Pisces says, let's just date? Three of pentacles. What they're going to be saying, Pisces, is are we going to be dating exclusively or are you going to be dating other people as well? What are they saying to Pisces? You're my ten of cups. But Pisces, this seems to be a very suspicious kind of massive turnaround because this guy has felt very disappointed by this queen of pentacles. I don't know. Do we have a final card for Pisces, Michael? What is the advice from the divine for Pisces? Thank you. What is the guidance from the divine? The emperor. Pisces, what the divine is saying is, this is someone who is ready to get serious. This is somebody who's trying to do the right thing. He's taking charge of his situation and he's wanting to be with you. Yes. So Pisces, you have a decision to make. Underneath the deck, Eight of Wands. Expect communication very shortly. We've got the Eight of Wands twice. Okay. All right, guys, let's get some messages. Moving into Charming Oracle Secret Love Messages. Let's just see what this guy wants to say. What does this masculine want to say to Pisces, Michael? Thank you. Wow. Okay, Pisces, he is serious. I want to marry you one day. Yeah, this guy is full of regret. He knows he chose the wrong woman. Ah, and I think he wants to come back and try and make things right with you. I was hiding how I was really feeling about you. I was keeping it a secret because I don't feel good enough for you. I'm loving you from afar. So not only was he dealing with insecurities and you two live at, lived at a distance, but he was heartbroken to figure out the truth about this Queen of Pentacles. I know that you think I've moved on, but the truth is, is that I can't get you out of my mind and heart. I still love you so much. Oh, Pisces, you know, I feel this masculine was in love with two women. Mm-hmm. But his hopes were dashed when the woman that he was dating at a distance portrayed the fact that she was in a relationship she wasn't willing to leave. What is he saying to Pisces? True love is the most powerful magic of all. I know in my heart that our love will conquer any storm. 
He feels that you're the right person for him, Pisces, and he's ready to get really serious. But I don't know. You're doubtful. Let's find out what you want to say to him. Here we go, guys. Andromeda Skies Love Oracle. What does Pisces want to say to this masculine, Michael? What would Pisces want to say to this masculine if he comes in to talk? Okay, Pisces, you have missed this person. So this is you stepping out of any ego. You may be honest with him and say, you know what? Yeah, you didn't do the right thing, but I have missed you. Pisces, you're not sure what you really want, whether or not you want to stay single, whether or not you want to give this a go. He is deadly serious. He wants to commit. What does Pisces want to say to this masculine? Okay, Pisces, you may be a little bit intimidated at the force this person comes in with because he's coming in all guns blazing. Eight of wands twice. Emperor, two of wands. I want this. I want to be with you. Hmm. soulmate Pisces you know in your heart of hearts that this person is a soulmate and I think that's the hardest thing because you don't know if the trust has been broken what is the message from the divine jealous and possessive be careful Pisces this person may be a bit jealous and possessive if you're freedom loving as in you're a very relaxed person You've been independent for a long time. This may not be the right connection for you. What else does the divine want to relate to Pisces? That this person may not be ready to step into the energy of the emperor. Any other messages from the divine for Pisces? Okay, I think this person's been through a lot, Pisces. They pulled away because they were overwhelmed with all the things going on in their life. I don't think you believe this person is ready to commit in the way that they say they want to. For many of you, you may simply say to this person, well, look, we can keep in touch. We build the foundation of the relationship. You're not going to jump in with both feet, Pisces. It's too risky. This person chose somebody over you. They may have been heartbroken over that person. You want to ensure that this masculine is still not carrying a torch for the Queen of Pentacles. You also want to ensure that if the Queen of Pentacles comes back into this guy's life and says, I'm actually going to divorce, is he then going to leave you to go back to her? You're not sure. So Pisces, it may be a little bit boring, but you may simply keep in touch I don't think there's any bad blood between the two of you, but you are going to say to this guy, I don't think that you're ready. So Pisces, an interesting reading. I'm going to leave it for this week. Take care of you, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye guys.